Hello and welcome. This is another video of Woo's Lab. This time we're going to try Prodigy. Prodigy is a math game where you can be with your friends. Well, if they do play Prodigy, obviously. And you can also fight monsters and get points to level up. Now, why in the world didn't she get a boot when she's a level 65? Why in the world? And uh, <clears throat> today we're going. To, I'm just going to do a brief introduction to Prodigy. Well, not really brief. So I don't know where you start because I've been at level 90, so I definitely forgot it. And is this Camden Bell? No. Because if I know right, the it it was W one two or something. If he was Camden Bell, I would definitely do the friend request. So, anyways, so this is Lamplight Town. You have to get a certain amount of points to go in here. So right now it's. I don't know, Starfest? I don't know the name of the fest. And you can also click on other players or even myself to see what they have. Now this person is a Wobbing 90, level 94 and I have no idea what this is. A Blizzard God, not bad. At least it's cool. And I really want this. Because it gives you even more damage. Hi there! This you can my... buy Starlight Festival items from my shop right now. But the only way to buy them is by spending Star Shard. You can get Star Shard. So, if you find a fallen star in the village, you just fight him to get 10 Star Shards. Now, you can buy these pets if you are a member. Which, I have enough money too. But... To do so, but I'm not doing it for some reason. Do it! Do it! Oh, I can buy this? Never knew that. I thought I can't. So I have around 64. Yeah, 64. I really wish I can buy, buy this guy. So you can also buy furniture in. Wait. Oh, yeah, this place. We are at Starlight Festival now. So, Mama Star is here. Right now, currently. And you can also go to Scientist Cimarella. Now, she's just a scientist. You can buy these more marbles to transform like this. This, my name is Aquaster. Or this. I have 17 of these when I didn't really buy any. Not much, at least. And you can also get potions. So I have many potions. Now the really, the good stuff are here. And I have more than 20,000 coins, so I should be able to buy these. But for some reason, I'm not. For some reason. Now, these are extremely useful. Now, this gives you fire resistance. This gives you water resistance. This gives you earth resistance. This gives you ice. This gives you storm. This gives you damage more. This gives you a higher chance of critical, critical damage. This is a rare fire exist. Resist, so it can give you more resistance, more resistance on water, this is more resistance on earth, this is more resistance on ice, this is more resistance on storm, this is a, a larger damage bonus, this is a rare resistance, so it just gives you medium damage, damage blocking for every element, except for shadow. And there's also the heroic always critical, which gives you always critical damage. And this is a heroic resist also. It gives you 
more resistance to all attacks and monster battles, except for the shadow element. For some reason, it doesn't block on shadow. Anyways, so if I go here, you can spin this circle to get items. I'm a membership, so I can do it two times a day, but normal people can only do it once. So, let's see what I get. I hope it's something useful. Unlike the... Okay, that is very, very useless for me, at least. Okay, some people do transform into it, but not me. I'm a membership, so as I said, I can spin it two times a day. Please, please, please get a good one. I'm pretty sure... Ugh. This is completely useless. There is no use for this thing. Not a thing. So, so, you can also battle by going in other places. Like, let's say, I'm going to go to Lamp White Town. No, there's no monsters there. Let's go to the Dark Tower. Um, I'm a membership, so I can go higher than floor 5, so I'm not going to go there. I'm going to go here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is just the Transformer OST that I like, mm, that I'm humming right now. Oh! Scally, if I know the name right? If I know the name? The Ice Dragon guy is called... Wait. I wish I remembered that guy's name. Well, I should know, but... I will know. Uh, yeah. That's an obvious go. To do an attack, you first need to solve a math problem. Wait, what? I forgot. I didn't have enough time to read the name. If you're a membership, you can rescue the pet. If your level is low enough. Now, but I wouldn't recommend it. As you need to pay real money to do it. Well, yeah. You wouldn't rather, rather pay real money, wouldn't you? So, yeah, that's an obvious go to too. <laughs> How is it this? Ice is powerful on lightning. I then wit fandom made a wiki. That guy's just running away because he lost. He's like, no! For some reason. Now this guy's Bip Bob, that's Heel Tail, and that's me. The guy, which the name is Cole. Now, Bipba is not bad. And Hailtail is just a weak guy, which I'm trying to level up. Because I'm pretty sure if he levels up, he would be cool. Mm -hmm. For some reason. I think he would be. For some reason. And what is the small voice? Why is it so small? I don't see why it has to be. A Chromie! I know you! I have a Chromie. I... No, not here. Here! I have a Chromie. Where are you, a Chromie? Oh, here you are. This guy's name is a Chromie. I... I bought a Chromie and just leveled him up. And you can also play mini... mini games. Like, here. Now, this is called Dino Dig. So, how to play. This game is all about digging up fossils. To find fossils, just click around the dig site to start digging. Your shovel will tell you how close the fossils are. Cold means you're far away. Hot means you're close. When you find something, the shovel button will pop up. Keep clicking it to 
dig up your new find. Once you dig it up, start looking for the next item. You have 90 seconds to dig up as many fossils as you can. Now, there are many game boosts which you can use to give you, you a higher chance or higher score or whatever to, to get more fossils in this case. So, this is my museum. I have... I have no idea what this is, and I have no idea what this is, and I have no idea what that is. I haven't completed any big fossils yet, but I'm hoping I will, at least. Now, my brother's friend showed me that here was a Tyrannosaurus fossil, and here was another Tyrannosaurus fossil. And I forgot those two. And uh, that is just some very small fossils, which I think are kind of useless right now. But it is pretty good to look at. Now, there is also a mini game at Lamplight Town. Now, let's go down and up and go back again. And here is another mini game. So, this is. The Tech Y4 game. I'm not going to do it because it just simply costs gold and there's no real reason to do it. And I really wish I had this. How do you get this? Anyways. So, should I fight somebody again? So. You might have an epic. This is my epic. His name is Arcturus. I have no idea how to pronounce him. Now, this epic is very powerful. Well, every epic is. Now, when he was level 20, he was still able to do at least a damage of 2,000, which is pretty surprising. As I barely got that in level 60. When he was level 20, he was able to do that damage. And right now, he's just a whopping... 30 when he's not even level 6 3000 when he's not even level 60 or anything and he, I can the invisibility cloak who are you even talking to I bet you can get star no, shards. I accidentally pressed that. So, your pets help you fight. And you have also buddies. For some reason, our Tursus is also a buddy and a pet at the same time. And even if you don't have him on your team, you can still fight. With at least your epic attack, which is pretty cool. That was the thing I used to do this. Frigid Blast attack. Now, if you type in Prodigy Wiki, it should come up. Prodigy Wiki. Now, the epic... Yeah. Now, this is an example of an epic. This is my epic. Arctus, Arcturus is pretty cool. Now, this guy's uncatchable. Now, redeem an Arcturus code and apply it to your account. Now, it doesn't evolve into anything. And it has some pretty cool, well, 
spell, should I say? And you can also unlock Frigid Blast. Now, it is claimed that the same Ice Warden gave him his Frost Gauntlets and forged the Arcturus' Power Rod. This guy is an epic. So, epic subspace. If you click here, it will show you the epic subspace in the map. Now, here are some stuff you can buy. Here is the epic zone where all the epics are found. And here is the dragon lair. I have no idea what they're, they are doing because. I wish I had Big Hex and Magnus Chef Titus, pretty much every single epic. That's what I want. I mean, then who doesn't? Who plays Prodigy? Now, the epics are here. And, yeah. I'll just have to type epic on the link. What? Oh, it doesn't seem like it shows up. Anyway, the epics are mythical creatures which are known by legend, if I know right. Anyways, so the epics are found in the epic subspace. This place. Yes? This is the epic subspace. Welcome to Wandering Wares. We specialize in ancient artifacts for powerful wizards. But I'm not interested in gold. If you find old copper... This guy trades for copper coins, not... Not gold, for some reason. That's it for this video. If you liked it, like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.